people started going on vacations again this year. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't go on vacation during 2020 due to the pandemic. But now we are back in 2021. The Hentations resumed their bro strips. Mm -hmm. We, uh, you know, we stayed in the country this time. Went down to Texas. H-Town, baby. And... Yes, so now that it's time, baby. And now that we're thinking about vacations, I guess like one of the questions that came to mind was just like, what is kind of sort of that perfect vacation? Mm -hmm. I know that vacations can vary based on a lot of different things, whether that be location, who you're going with, what you can spend. And so I think like one of the things that I did kind of sort of want to look into, kind of sort of. And I'm no one probably might ask the questions in a different order than how they may appear for us. But yo, look, there are certain places that you want to go with your girl and or your romantic partner, mm -hmm. and there are certain places that you want to go with your friends. Mm -hmm. Which one do you all think that you kind of sort of like? Do you place a certain emphasis on going certain places with one of those groups, mm -hmm. and do you like put a certain emphasis on going to certain places with other ones? Like, are there, like, various locales that you feel, like, are better mm -hmm. for those two different clientele, for lack of a better word? <laughs> personally, shout out to clientele. <laughs> Supreme clientele, shout out to <laughs> um, Me, personally, I, I just feel like, so I like to have, like, squeeze in both in a year, like, uh, with my girl in and then also get her bros trip in. Um, for one, the bros trip, like, you naturally, like, you, you want to you wanna turn up a bit more, like, you try to find a more... Like exciting parts of town, and you try to it, like it's like two different things. So like when you go with your girl, like it's like at least when I go with my girl, it's like it's more chill. Like you do more like not necessarily romantic things, but you're not necessarily Relax. like me and me and, like me and my girl don't really go to like the club and stuff like that. I mean, I know there's some couples that yeah. that do that and like that, which is cool, but like that's not really our our thing. So like naturally, I like I like just to get in both. So because you get like and honestly like. All the places that we went to, like for a guy trip, I do want to like double back with Lex just to see, cause it's like almost like a other another side to some of these cities. Like when you go to the more like quiet parts of town, or you check out just more like the restaurants and and and, and fine dining and cool dates and that type of stuff. So like it's really a lot you can experience like with both um, types of trips. So that's that's what I like. I like squeezing in both. Um. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think certain locales are more romantic than others. I mm -hmm. mean, um, if you want to talk about a duality place, I think Miami is a good place where you can go with your significant other and also go with your brother. Yes, sir. Um, Vegas is not an option for you and your girl. Vegas opinion. could be. It could be? Okay, all right. Well, I, I'll take it to the guys that went to Vegas. But I would think, like like you said, there's a duality a lot of locations. Like, you mm -hmm. look at Cancun, Cancun could turn into... You know, just a relaxation, especially from a resort level. Like, right. you can get a couple's massage. You can go and um, do things like you can have a, a beach dinner. You know what I'm saying? It's all how you set it up. Um, well, you know, you go with your bros. Like, we've gone to Cancun, and it could be you can go on a, um, off the resort. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine if I'm going with my girl going off the resort because I know what's going to happen. Like, there's going to be, you know what I'm saying, that type of night like that could you know, necessarily, you know, turn into something that she won't be interested in, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, you might have a relationship that I into that. Cool. But, you know what I'm saying, like, it really depends on, um, like, your partner and the person that you are, and also what stage in life you are. Like, if you're, like, a young 20, young, like, early 20s, like, a relationship, I mean, like, going on vacation to Cancun might involve you going to the club with your girl, because y'all just on that tip. Mm. Yeah. If I'm, like, like that. late 20s, going into my 30s, if I'm going on vacation right now with my girl, I am lounging on the beach with a cabana or a massage. Like, and motherfucking Mike Tyson. Like, I'm not, or, you know what I'm saying, any activities I'm doing. You're great by the time. I'm, I'm just giving an example. But I'm just saying, oh, pina colada. I'm, I'm a pina colada guy. But I'm just saying, like, I want to relax. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm in a different stage of my life. I'm working, you know what I'm saying? Like, professional at this point. I need to, you know what I'm saying, relax my body at that point. So, mm -hmm. it all really depends on, it varies from a, from a personal level or at each level too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I agree. Um, you know, I, I guess it just depends on, um, <clears throat> just, uh, you know, what like, you know, with your friends, obviously you probably most likely if, if you and your friends like to party, you're going to try to go to party places with my friends. I think we like to go and do stuff and, you know, yeah, other sure things, things and yeah. then, 
or, or and, and we didn't just go and party in Vegas. We did other things. We did off work, off what is it called, off road biking, whatever. Um, I here in Mexico, we all yeah, did swimming and stuff. I did that out there. Yeah, like I was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was, it was really dangerous. Bro, the niggas left me at one point. I never forget that. Did, did y'all have water? Bro, no. Well, no, we didn't have water. Yeah. yeah. And so the tour guy said, left, and I was like, trying to get up a hill. The goal like, was to follow the off. orange flag. It, it was, was the dumbest thing you could have done. Orange in the desert is not a good idea. It, it should have been pink or something or red. I don't know. You know, like on TV, like, they'll just show like a father throwing their kid in the pool. Yeah. See, yeah. yeah. They'll just yeah. see yeah. Yeah. So he's like, okay, right, just follow me at full speed. I feel like we all got a bruise on our knuckles from holding Hey, we all had like, we all had like, this is a cut on my leg. That, that, like, got serious. No, because from gripping the joint, like it's real serious. Y'all get gloves? No, no bro. The we could have bought gloves. The air was dumb dry, so basically you just hold on to it. Your skin's dried out. You yeah. gonna end up getting cut. Like, this right here. Make sure like, yeah, the shot. This was on because your leg was next to the heater. I mean the yeah, uh, the engine. Yeah, we were in sorry, sorry, we were in Vegas. We were we went off ATV, ATV. Yeah, yeah. we went back. It was fun. It was just it was an intense experience. We don't go back. But like I said, yeah. I mean, we were the bros. Like you want to might want to do that, but I mean. Honestly, like, so, you know, if, if your partner was male or female, they're into that, you might want to try that too, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. it just depends on the vibe that you and your part, partner are, are in. I mean, mm-hmm. there might, because maybe Vegas is a bad example. But Vegas, I mean, there's really not too many, like, chill things to do. But a place like yeah. Miami, you can find a lot of just chill things to do in Miami. Yeah, it's yeah. not just, like, going 110 miles an hour that maybe you and your partner want to do, or maybe you and your boys want to do. Mm-hmm. If you have a friend group that's, like, very chill, you know, you guys just like to go. And, like, I know in Miami, you can... You Vineyard you can go to, or this beer garden, the mm-hmm. art district. It's not like in there, but you can drive. But oh, okay. There's yeah. a zoo in Miami. There's like lots of things to do. It just kind of just depends on what the what, what the vibe is. Um, mm-hmm. you know. So for me personally, I mean, you know, when I'm going, I when I'm going on a trip with a significant other, I try to try to tailor things that I like and tailor things that she likes, and you know, have like a mixture of those. So we went to Miami this. This past uh, summer, mm-hmm. um, went to a baseball game, then went to the zoo, we did salsa dancing, so it was, <laughs> you know, salsa. That make little like LeBron out there. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so, you know, man, it was Victor Cruz with it, bro. Sitting there, feet, knees, and that footwork. So, you know, it was, that, that was fun. And then, like, when we go to Miami, you know, we're, you know, going out the clubs. We're going to Bodega. Yeah. We're, we're, just we're just getting tacos. We're going to Bible study. We're, we're just getting tacos. tacos. Bodega has the best burritos ever. Oh, oh my God. The best burritos. Bibles and Barea. That's all we're doing. What are you talking about? BB. 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 That's what he's That's it. My guy knows. Mm-hmm. I. I'm, and uh, make sure you get a large fry from McDonald's and they get you a large fry. Nah, they nah, that McDonald's is trash. I'm going to correct it. It don't even matter. Let me know. We, we will get that fixed. Mm-hmm. But I. I kind of agree with Darren said in terms of this, like, you know, like, you go to these places and sometimes you, when you go with your guys, like, you know, we go to places all the time and it's like, oh, yeah, we did this place before Mm -hmm. and we did it as, like, some bros, so we did it as, like, you know, we did all these guy things, like, you know, if you go to a certain place and, all right, we can go to this club, that club, and get some barbecue, but there is, like, a second side of things where it's like, you know, you can look into it as, like, from this perspective of, like, a couple. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I feel like the example that all y'all kept giving and that I kind of like disagree with was like Vegas. Vegas, you actually can do with your girl. It's that's like, what I, that's <laughs> like Vegas actually is very doable with your girl. And I put it to you like this, like between like um, the fact that like, you know, you talking about like you go to certain hotels and you just have like bars like that. Mm-hmm. Your hotel can have bars like that. You and your girl can do that. That's kind of chill. And Vegas has a thousand restaurants. Like, I'm about to say, we when we went to Vegas, we was on, like, some party. We gonna go, like, look at Steve Aoki and do a cake. Or, like, we was up in... Mm-hmm. Bro, we were doing some EDM stuff. We was in Vegas. But at the same time... Yeah, we, to, bro, we was. We saw Calvin Harris. But at the same time, it's just, like, there are, like, so many things that you can do in Vegas that, like, may just be, like... You know, you can do couples things. Like, you can do a nice dinner or any of those. Like, Maybe I both like the casino. Yeah, but y'all both, both may like the casino. Or both y'all may like certain aspects of the club. Mm-hmm. And so I guess I kind of do feel like, you know, with locales, I do kind of feel like to an extent there is certain stuff that, like, I want to do with y'all rather than, like, go with my girl. Because, like, what you said about Miami, I feel like I actually thought differently of Miami. Mm-hmm. I thought of Miami kind of like as a, I'm going with my guys. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going with my girl in Miami. This is not, and it's not a knock on her. Mm-hmm. It just kind of feels like Miami's one of the locations where you never hear about couples going. Like, I went with my girl in Florida. We went to Orlando. Yeah. Like, you know, like, not the family part. The family part. And I didn't even say it's family part, but it's like, it's so much to do in Orlando. Like you can go to a different park, you can get dinner, you can go to the 
City Walk and yeah. Universal Studios. Miami can get yeah. same with Miami though. You can get Miami can be real cool. romantic though. So Especially that art district shit. With the art district. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even the strip. Even South Beach can be. <laughs> Some people like the strip. <laughs> too. No, no, I'll still know the strip. <laughs> strip. <laughs> strip. Like, I think South Beach. Like, there's actually some. I mean, like you said, there's plenty of restaurants. Yeah, and I'm about to say, bro, you can go there, you can get lit, you can have a good time. And we went to Miami. We've been twice. We went to Miami. We had great food. Like we've had some. Yes, we've had some good tacos, amongst other things. We've like enjoyed our time there. So I just feel like locales, like Darian was saying, they offer so much duality to where it's just like I either I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do this, this, and this with my guys, mm-hmm. or it's like at the same rate I can do this, this, and this with my girl. Like yeah, like a lot of the food places we do, I can do with my girl. Mm-hmm. I may not like go to the club with my girl because that's not what we do. Yeah. But it's still like you know, like if you go to a place. Not to say like you're going to play dumb early, but like, you know, you can go to happy hour at a certain spot and like still be like there, catch the vibe. I also did that in Orlando, like found a random club to go to. Cause I just, I would love to see what Orlando club is like. Cause I feel like it is so random. I would just want to see just so I can come back and talk about it with y'all. So <laughs> that, that, is, no, they don't that is the main yeah. reason, bro. Over. Like when I was down there, I was like, bro, what, what oh, man, what's Orlando strip club looking like? I want to laugh. Like I need to, like, bro, I feel like it is, bro, and that's what I'm about to say. I feel like it is so random that you kind of want to see it. But at the same rate, it's like, you know, you're doing that. Or you may be like, you know, you go with your girl, like a bar rather than a club. Like, uh, you go on the strip, like Malik was saying in Miami, there are so many, like, bars on that little strip. You just go there and chell out. You don't got to even go to the club. Like, I don't, you, can stay at the club. you can stay at the bar all night. Like, mm-hmm. it's pretty good specials. Mm-hmm. But I guess kind of like uh, moving deeper into the conversation, I know one thing that's, like, constantly come up for me, like, within my relationship has always been, like, all right. Are you giving more? Are you giving more importance to one of these rather than the other? Like yeah. for me personally, like within like the way that I operate, it's like all right. I know that I'm gonna go on a trip with my guys every year. Like mm-hmm. we gonna do our thing. We gonna go to the club. Not to give away our stuff. We gonna go have fun. We gonna yeah. You know we 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 are folks. Glory, folks, 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 I, like, got a little bit caught up in, like, just to be, like, blunt with it. It was just, mm-hmm. like, I get so caught up in, oh, God, I don't want my parents so much to know I'm out here just with you. And it's, like, you know, we got a hotel room. They're going to know I'm sitting in the same bed with you. And, like, those type of things. And they, like, play around in your head somewhat. And you don't want them to, like, affect your good time. Yeah. But, you know, they are realistic things where you just, you, you think so much about other people's opinions. And you don't want them to, like, oh, Dante did this, Dante did that. And so it's like, man, I'm going to shy away from that or I'm not going to think about it as upfront. That's for me. And that don't got to be the same for y'all, but that's how it was for me. And so, I mean, it, it doesn't mean I didn't care about going with my girl. It type of thing. It doesn't mean that was in my head. Mm-hmm. So, like, for y'all, do y'all ever, like, think about, you know, do y'all ever get questions or feel like one of those feels more important than the other? And it's not to say that I don't enjoy both places with my girl or I don't want them to be important, but that was just what was in my mind at one point before I kind of got past it. Mm-hmm. And so, like, for y'all, how do y'all feel, you know, like, within, like, the whole, like, vacation with significant others and that type of thing. Do y'all feel like, you know, oh, okay, like, it's equivalent to going on vacation with you guys? I know you said that it was like, oh, yeah, I'll do both. You know, like, do you feel like you kind of put one over the other sometimes or that's what the blame is or how do you think of it? So I think it's easier to clear the the guy strips because, I mean, like, honestly, like, we're not – like I'm not when I go on guys trips with, with you guys, I'm not trying to entertain y'all niggas. Like, I'm like <laughs> we we find something like we find something I ain't like I ain't with y'all. I'm not like, 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 like I ain't trying to whine and die on it. Like we just go out, we have a good time. So it's just I'm it's, not trying to entertain. It's you. it's <laughs> easier, bro. Like it's easier to just put together a guys trip as opposed to a, a like to go with your significant other because you got to cater that trip like to your, your couple. Yes, like you got to, it's, it's almost like you got to move. Everything like, has find, to be romantic. You got to find cool dates. dates. You got to find yeah. like just, just and everything got to be quality. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you want your guys to be like you know 
We, we never we have, we have never stayed in a bad place, but you know, three and a half stars to a nigga and yeah. three and a half stars to a girl. Ooh, even that, even that. Day. Like we're fine, like toughing it out, like like early to trips. Up to early, I'm like, to to extent. Extent. Man, that's early like trips on the floor, bro. I was cool. Early yeah. trips, we used yeah. to like yeah. monk it out, like share a bed, but like yeah. you're not doing. You try to find a, a, at least a star <laughs> up your area. Like they ain't gonna tell me. Oh, sorry. Oh, we think it's been through it, bro. We've been through the bus. We've been through the bus. Oh, Never mind. We and Sharon. We and Sharon, man, apparently. We always have money. <laughs> we always have money. We always have money. But yeah, it's like, like, naturally, like, you look for at least, like, at least one higher star, like, when you go with your girl. Like, you, you always try to, like, you got to cater to to them for that. And they taste it. And your girl's taste might be different. Yeah. From, from jump. So it's different. So it's naturally a lot more work. So it's easier to, like, just knock out, like, oh, we're going to Vegas, guys. Like, all right, bet. Like, we, we, we'll figure things out as we go. And plus, just naturally, like, how, like, Guys in our general, how we are, like, we kind of, like, I mean, we set a itinerary and stuff, but we kind of just go with the flow. Like, we, we get our naps in, like, we feel like doing this, let's check it out. We give options. Like, with, with, like when you go on with your girl, you kind of, like, almost have to cater it. Yeah. Honestly, in that, it's my really, opinion, the vacation really for the girl. I'm my opinion, the you. and I was about to say, that shit kind of needs to change. Like, y'all need to, like, especially, like, we've been there for a while. Like, y'all need to, like, I'm come on with some shit too. too. I'm about to say, y'all need to wind it down for at least one night. Like, like, I'm going to relax. I'm going to say, we want to be winding like, down, too, for at least one like, night. But it's I'm different. I'm going to give you 100% uh, at the home state, and I got to give you two at, in the national right. too. Like, damn, whose vacation is this? Right. But no, on some real, like, that kind of brings up, I have, I bring a unique perspective because me and my, my significant other, we have never really gone on a, um, I would say, I guess you call it solo, like, um, mm-hmm. vacation. And mm-hmm. like, we've always gone with others, um, wow. or family. Mm-hmm. And we've been talking about going on one for the longest time and it's kind of been eluding us. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like when you, I, can, I guess we can give a different wrinkle, it's like going with friends, or going with friends and family and your mm-hmm. significant other is a very different Feel too. That's work yeah. too. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's work too because now you're going with the greater itinerary, and then you have to manage the family and your significant other, and maybe you want to do something. Your if you want to do something, your shit is not. It doesn't exist. <laughs> like it's the family, and then it's your girl. Yeah, shit. I want to go with Michelle's on the beach. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're going to carry over that. And your girl, and shit. your girl shit. Like if you think it's bad, <laughs> it's if you and your girl are going. <laughs> It's super it bad when you go with the family and your girl, bro. There's no way. So, like, I can speak from a unique perspective, like, on, from that that aspect, um, of going on vacation. But I mean, that's something I would want to do as a couple is like going on a vacation. My idea of it would be us, you know, doing something romantic, us doing a mixture of fun, and then something of chilling. You getting your sixteen hours of sleep. That too. You know what I'm saying? Like me getting a vampire mode, like that. That type. <laughs> of, you know what I'm saying? Give me a coffin. And you know that type of thing, but um, it's very it's it's a, it's a tough it's a tough balance to do. You know yeah. what I'm saying to have because yeah. I mean it's it's like even when you're at home, like trying to go on a date night and stuff like that, and you're doing it internationally, trying to plan ahead is it's tough. So yeah, I, yeah, Brad, <laughs> sorry, it's like yeah. I was about to say, I was about to <laughs> <end my bullshit. laughs> um, yeah, I mean, ah, shit. I don't know, it's just different, it's different vibes, like when you're going on a relationship with a significant not relationship, going on a vacation with a significant mm-hmm. other, going with, going, with, going with your bro, going with... Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a bull child. Yeah, I'm about to say, that because, yeah. like, like Darren said, like, everything is catered to the woman to, mm-hmm. like, to, a, to a degree, like, you're trying to find things that, like, they like to do, or, I mean, most of the time, yeah, and, um... Um, yeah, it's like a, everything's like a date, like, everything is yeah. gotta be like a, th- like... Oh, look at this. Look at where we're going. Ooh, this place is nice. You know, I feel like also know. another thing is like you don't always your time. Because you spend most of the time when you go international or any place, you spend a lot of money. Yeah. And you yeah. also don't want to sure. waste your, yeah. your time here too. I mean it's very limited. Even if you go on four or five days, yeah. You don't wanna you want every day to count. So. Yeah, pretty, no, that's when we went to Miami is that's basically what you said for like ever we wanted every I wanted every day to be like Oh, we did this that day. This nice. that day. It was something memorable, and uh, I mean, I thought it was a successful trip, but it's a lot of planning. A yeah. lot of planning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, another take on it too, like especially if like either y'all live apart, like like y'all, y'all in two different places, or you like you in, in a house and you have like your man cave and she has her she shed. Like when you go on vacation with your girl, it kind of forces you like in in a box, like yeah. with each other. Mm-hmm. So sometimes that reveals a lot more than sometimes you're ready for. Like usually. 
Like when you're at home, like you can go to your respective corners, Not like a hotel. watch your own show. But at a hotel, like you had a trip for like four or five days, like I got everything. Y'all are at a hip. Y'all are attached. Y'all are attached at the hip. So sometimes, like that, yeah, that's tough to. to or to, if you to want to go poolside and they don't want to go, or you yeah. want this, like then, so you gotta either make a decision. You want to be with it or not with it, because. With it means no arguments. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. It. You want to go just eat and she don't. don't want to do that. Yeah. So and then you and then you end up wasting money or you feel like you're wasting money because you wasted the day mm. arguing in paradise. Or <laughs> you know yeah, that's all thing. But gosh, we just like even if we don't like y'all mentioned like we we, did, we go like, separate excursion like we split up. But yeah. like but yeah. a couple that's. Hard to do. I mean, maybe, maybe uh, you should be able to. I mean, you don't want your girl just to an extent. Home. If, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but, yeah, but if like if you're just like in the country and like one of y'all, or even out of the country, honestly, if one of y'all want to go down to the poolside, like you were saying, mm-hmm. and the other one's like, I want to take a nap. Mm-hmm. You can go to the poolside. Like yeah. it's a little. But not I mean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm not letting my girl like. Hey, go go right right yeah, I'm not letting her go ride ATV with whoever's in whatever country. Yeah. Like Raul you know, is. I'm not about to say I ain't want to try to say names like that. Yeah, I'm about to, he about to have her hands around her waist and about to be doing yoga on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Keep hitting yes. that thrust, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Downward dog. Lord, Lord. Please. You are. Downward dog. This is the name of the movie. I can't remember the name of the movie, so I can't even make the joke. I was is that the couple's retreat? Right? Yes, that's the name of the movie. Let's go me. Yes, I thrust. <laughs> Boom. You feel it? Boom. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what. No, nah, I was going to just add that it's like, I was like kind of trying to explain to my girl when like we was talking about like, you know, like, prioritize and stuff and those type of things. Or even, like, the way I think about it, it's like, yeah, when I go with y'all, certain things, like, yeah, you know, I feel like we go with your friends, you put so much effort into thinking things out sometimes, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm going with a group of other niggas. Like, if one of us don't do the work of trying to pick up what we should do, none of us will. And it's not to knock us, it's just like, yo, it's just honest to God truth. We're a bunch of men. Like, at the yeah. end of the day, if one of us don't sit around and, like, try to get some type of agenda or figure out some and activity, yeah. we ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has like, a role. You know bro, we just going to chill. Yeah. That's what it is. But it's like, yo, with your right, we'll too, facts. Yeah. And it's like, yo, with your girl, it's like, conversely, it's like, all right, I know you have certain things that you want to do. Yeah. Yes, it is up to, you know, as a guy, you do want to feel like, you know, I was able to plan this, mm-hmm. and I know you, and I was able to coordinate these activities. Yeah. But at that same rate, I do understand that, you know, you like certain things. Mm-hmm. If you like certain things, I'm not trying to tell you you're in charge of this whole trip. Let me know what you want to do so that we're able to make you happy. Because mm-hmm. like we were saying earlier, like, bro, like, coming up from, like, what we did and, like, places we went, Mm-hmm. I stay anywhere and do anything, bro. Give me yeah. a TV in the room. If I got ESPN in that motherfucker, we always stay somewhere at least this decent. We ain't have enough beds yeah, all the time, but we stay somewhere decent. I, I, we've yeah. never stayed in like we've never stayed yeah. in like Motel Six, yeah. Power yeah. Motels, any of that type yeah. of stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying we've stayed in fairly decent places, yeah. but just like honest to God, true. You know, like if you just give me a TV and a bar downstairs where I can go <laughs> get me a drink. I will be fine. I don't want yeah. I don't have as much that I need. That's some hot weather. Bro, facts. Like, I will go sit outside for that pool. I will have a good time. I'm and like, if there is a five that. days across the street, I will be over there eating ghost pepper wings. Because yeah. that's what I like. In Florida, they had ghost pepper wings. It was, was kind of nice. They got ghost pepper wings? And yo, in Florida, yes, they do. It was kind of nice. So we went to Fridays. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. Me and my girl both went. It was all fun again. It was all fun again. It was all fun again. It was like an island or something. And her, like, drink. So then they had, like, Reimburse us somehow. It, it was a lot. <laughs> Bro, it's Fridays. Shout out to Fridays in the quarter. Anyway, but I'm just saying, but like, you know, like, you're just like, you know, I don't want it to ever seem like, you know, I place one over the other. It's just we all kind of sort of recognize that it's like, you know, when we with our guys, like, bro, if there's something that we want to do, any of us, we all know that if we go on somewhere together, then we like, yo, look, I want to do this. I got to speak up on it because if you don't speak, bro, like, Y'all like do that jet ski and stuff. Yeah, my I can't split. Jet ski. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So and when you split, it was easy. I'm about to say that's, that's not gonna be on my activity list. We didn't do jet ski, did we? We did in Cancun in eight seven. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, we do. Not in Miami. 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 We did in Cancun. Y'all did in Cancun. Actually, did we do it in Miami? Yeah, tried. Oh, we tried, but we failed. Yeah, didn't work out. Ended up in Trump Tower somewhere. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God, that was bad. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's another that's story. Yeah. But like we saying, so it just it ends so differently. Like, yo, we all like you yeah, got stories, bro. It's like speak up about all your peace. Like, yeah. if we're going anywhere, like, yo, if you want to do something, those mouths don't get fed. Bro, yeah. those mouths don't yeah. get fed. Yeah. But when I'm with my girl, it's like, yo, look, you want to do something? Look, I know personally certain things that you may want to do that you find interesting. Like, I know you like going to brunch, so all right, cool, I'm fine. Like, go brunch spot. 
I know you like to shop, so I'm like, all right, cool, you know, shopping, we're going to do this. We can do different things, but it's like, yo, if there's, certain, there's something I'm missing, let me know. It's like, yo, with my guys, it's just one of those things where you kind of just feel obligated to say stuff sometimes because you just, like, let's be honest, like, you know, with the hintations, we be looking at some of that sheet sometimes, it may be empty. So it's like, yo, look, let's put some activities in this joint. Let's find mm-hmm. some places we could go. Let's and it's like, it let's make it matter. Bro, right. And that's what I'm about to say. It's not that it's, and it's not that you try to prioritize one over the other. I think, like, the biggest thing is when you go on trips with your friends, it's just, like, just that honesty of, bro, we all men. We know how this goes. Mm-hmm. If we don't say nothing, we will sit in this room and we will be okay. Because, mm-hmm. bro, like, let's think about it. Bruh, we will play yeah, beer bro. pong for hours or we will watch bad kung fu movies that Malik chose on how Netflix. Do, how do we say? And, and, bro, anything. Like, okay. that's, and that's what it is. It's it, bro, it's it's just, just, that's just shut up, Malik. Just, that movie is terrible. You fell asleep. But in the meantime... I've seen it before. <laughs> I know how I go in. Because <laughs> I saw it before. I've seen it before. <laughs> before it was for y'all. Alright, fine. My, my bad. But no, it's one of those things where it's like we all have to pick and choose our moments to do things. And it's just like, you know, we all try to take as much charge as possible. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like the perfect balance kind of just like going on is just like, you know, you find the things, you try to find the places that are good for you and your girl. Mm-hmm. And you try to find the places that are good for you and your friends. Mm-hmm. And you try to learn from everywhere that you go to try to see, all right, cool, I enjoyed this while I was here. I enjoyed that while I was I there. Bring my girl here. Yeah, and it's, yeah. or vice versa. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, me and my guys go here. Like, I know my girl sometimes get living because I'll be like, I'll go somewhere with her and be like, you know what? This would be a place me and my guys go. <laughs> and I know she gets, and I'm not trying to say it's like, and it's not that I don't enjoy going like, to her place. Yeah, 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 but it's just, and it's, it's like, I enjoy going to her. It's like, oh, when back home, I'm like, oh, yeah. Class school here sometimes, that's a whole like, different yeah. and it's it's a different, and that's a different thing. It's like it's two different types of fun, mm-hmm. and I feel like that kind of gets lost in like the fun you had with your significant other on vacation and the fun that you had with your friends on vacation are both totally so different. Yeah. different. And it's like it doesn't mean that I had more fun with one group than the other. It's just like yo, look, when I was with my friends, maybe we went to the club or we was up at a uh, Wet Willie's in Miami. Is that so around? I don't even remember, but um, like, or we went to Fat Tuesdays, whatever. Sorry, well, it always. depends also, like, what type of vibe you want to yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. Like, do you want to be on a more intimate vibe, or you can be a mixture of both, or you can be like, hey, we're just gonna go here, we're just gonna turn up, like, we're gonna just, we gonna spin, we're gonna just get drunk, or we're gonna get lit, we're gonna just wash our stars away or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe, or maybe even have nights where, like, hey, we're gonna be here four nights. First night we turn it up. Second night we might chill, might be some intimate stuff. Like have a picture of it so it can be different. Bro, right. and even just to add on to that, it's like yo, we play so many roles and put on so many ads. It's like yo, mm-hmm. look, if I know that I'm going out with my girl, I gotta be more like affirmative, yeah. like hardcore. I'm the leader. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying like I'm leading going here, baby. Yeah, like we going here. Like you know, grab my hand. Like I- I'm leading the way. But it's like yo, if I'm going with y'all, it's like yo. I can lay back. Mm-hmm. I can play. I can play a more reserved role. Mm-hmm. I can chill. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think that's the part that gets lost in it too. It's like, yo, you go with your friends. It's like, bro, everywhere that we go, like we could all play so many different roles. Like, you know, we can go somewhere and it'll be like, oh man, I could finally just chill, let go, and just I could follow Darius' lead. Like, you know, I'm gonna let him lead the way while we here. I'm gonna chill out the back. Mm-hmm. And that's just the biggest thing. It's like, you know, you go with your girl. It's like a whole machismo thing. And you just feel like. All right, baby, grab my hand. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get to this get crowd. Yeah, I'm about to say. You know what's a good balance? I, I know everybody don't like couple trips, but I think couple trips is also like a third option that sometimes can, can work out yeah. pretty well because you get a little, a little bit of both. You know, like you, like in terms of that machismo thing, like you have other guys to kind of balance that out. Like other guys can kind of take lead as far as like the planning and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like you still also like can like split up like how we talk about it. Some, if a couple, like if some couples don't want to do some things or... If some people on the group like, cause I'm like, I feel like like if, if couples trip don't have to just be just couples. Like, mm-hmm. there be other people on the trip as well. But like, if some people don't want to do that activity, we can always split up. So, yeah. group trips in general like are, are just a good balance of things. Is especially when you're able to bring your your girl like too, like because y'all can go off and do your own thing, and you can also have fun as a group. Damn, that's smooth.